You've got it tuned to 90.3. It's KEXP here in Seattle. My name's Evie, and I'm here in our live performance room, joined by the Vaselines today. And we are also uh, streaming live video at KEXP.org. So tune in now. You can see this uh, little masterpiece of a session unfold right before your eyes. Hi there, Vaselines. Hello. How are you? Great. Thanks for joining us. You have a few songs to play? Sure. Sure. Right. Whenever you're ready, take it away. Lonely by the riverside Playing hard to get I'm confused but can't decide Whether to get wet There's no place I'd rather be Something holds me back is a loop inviting me Ready to attack I got no time When I gonna get a ride Right across the water Wanna meet someone's daughter I got no time When I gonna get a ride Right across the ocean Wanna feel some emotion Even it's too late I tied both sides When I'm gonna get a ride Right across the water Wanna meet someone's daughter I tied both sides When I'm gonna get a ride Right across the ocean Wanna feel some emotion Vaseline's here at 90.3. It's KEXP in Seattle. Okay, this is called Crazy Lady. If you know what I've been 
Crazy Lady from the Vaselines here on Listener Power Radio. It's KEXP 90.3 FM in Seattle. And today we are streaming this live session via live video at KEXP.org. So just make sure that you uh, tune in to watch these guys jam out in the live performance room. Sounding great, you guys. Thank you. It's a lot of fun. I can really relate to that Crazy Lady song. <laughs> Can you introduce yourselves to our listeners, please? Okay, we're the first things I'm called Eugene. I'm having a coughing fit, so <laughs> I can't speak just now. I'm Francis. And uh, Michael on the drums there, and Scott on guitar, and Graham Smiley on the bass guitar. Well, nice to meet all of you. Thank you very much for being here today. So, first question, Eugene and Francis. I'm wondering if you two can tell me just a little bit more about this last album you put out with a V for Vaseline's album came out uh, around the end of last year. If you could just tell me more, like maybe about the creative process, what influenced it, influenced the sound, where it was recorded, maybe some of the special <coughs> guests you had on the album. Okay, we recorded it in Glasgow in Mogwai studio called Castle of Doom with Tony Duggan and uh, inspiration was just uh, money. <laughs> no, that was the motivation. Motivation was money. And yeah, inspiration was just making a real kind of snappy pop record, punk record. Mm -hmm. Bit of Ramones, bit of uh, undertones, bit of buzzcocks. Yeah, I read something about uh, about some influence maybe from somebody's children. Oh yeah, mine. <laughs> yeah. Um, I was actually... Uh, my son had one, he had borrowed a Ramon CD from his friend and asked me to put it on his eye, whatever. And um, <laughs> I mean, I knew, I knew all these songs. And when I was listening to it, I, I was struck by how poppy they all were. And uh, and then I was talking to Eugene about it. And I was listening to a lot of Iggy Pop as well. Mm -hmm. I'm just really taken by the timelessness of those songs, but the brevity of them as well. And I think that was one of our kind of feelings about this album that yeah, we wanted. Keep it, it short. Short and sweet. Well, that you did. It was a great album. I played a lot of it, as did everybody at the station. And also, I think you had a couple of special guests from an, a couple of other bands. Yeah, we had Scott group. here from Sons and Daughters. He uh, he joined us for guitar on it, and uh, we had uh, Frank, who's our manager. <laughs> he also plays drums for Teenage Fan Club. He played piano. And we had Stevie Jackson from Bell and Sebastian playing a couple of guitar parts. Um, no big deal. No. <laughs> And we borrowed Mogwai's amps as well. They look pretty impressive. Oh. <laughs> that I did not know. Yeah. So, also, I think most listeners and Vaseline fans uh, in particular are aware of the fact, of this fact, but just thought I'd mention it for probably the millionth time in your professional lives. Yeah. Um, you two were some of Kurt Cobain's favorite songwriters, and obviously that hits close to home here. Mm -hmm. You're in his hometown. Um, and then Nirvana covered a few of your songs during live performances um, and during that, uh, on the uh, Nirvana Unplugged album. 
to remind me of the song titles was Molly's Lips. Son of a Gun and Jesus Doesn't Want Me for a Sunbeam. Right. Also, no big deal. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. Big deal to very, us. Very, very big deal. Yeah. I, I was a huge fan of that Unplugged record. Have been for a very long time. Um, so I'm just curious, is there any artists based out of Seattle that have influenced your work, your professional work, or your lives? Uh, or Matani. Mm. Yeah. I think um, one of the things that, well, wha- one of the bands that I find really influential, the Pixies. They're from Boston. She said <laughs> they're outside Seattle. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, the world. Oh, the world. Okay. I mean, the Sonics, they're from here, aren't they? Did you the say? Sonics yeah. Are, yeah. yeah. I said Seattle, but you know what? All right. That's okay. fine. It's good to know that you like the Pixies because we do here too. Yeah. <laughs> so, Mud Honey, <laughs> the Sonics, those are good ones. Yeah. Um, and then Eugene, one more question specifically for you. I think I, I read recently an interview that um, you are a fan of having physical copies of music as opposed to like streaming or that sort of thing. And you also mentioned in that interview that you uh, still own a Walkman. Yeah, I still own a tape deck and a CD player. Yeah, I, I, I respect that, that, that very I carry much. About, yeah. <laughs> I've only downloaded one song. <laughs> ever it was and it was like a comedy song to use as an intro for a gig I feel many people yeah. will find that very yeah. respectable so are you a vinyl collector uh, not much <laughs> no okay <laughs> I well just, I just like carrying a CD about with me yeah <laughs> I'm from nice. the 80s yeah well we have quite the collection down the hall if you want to check that out <laughs> um, what are you what are you listening to lately in your walk van <laughs> um, I've been listening to lots of Beethoven <laughs> <laughs> oh. and the Kills I like that. That's Kill's collected. last record. No. How about you, Francis? Um, I, 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 I was listening to the, the latest Mark Lanigan album. Mm, it's really him. amazing. Yeah. Sounds um, like Willie Nelson or something. Mm-hmm. It's really good. He has such a uh, soothing voice. It's yeah. velvety. Uh-huh. I love but, it. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. It's, like it's for dark the ladies. chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, you have a few more songs to play for us. Okay. This One. is called One Lost Year.
Vaseline's here on 90.3. Okay, this is called Earth is Speeding. Earth is speeding from the Vaseline's here on Listener Powered Radio. We are streaming all over the world live at kexp.org. Sounding great, guys. Seriously, that was was lovely. Thank you. You're Thanks. very welcome. So you're performing live at Numos tonight, and then tomorrow is a uh, Dog Fur Lounge down oh, yeah. in Portland. Then you're making your way down the coast more to San Francisco and yeah. LA. Yeah. Right. Okay. So 27th and 28th respectively for that's, those dates that's correct cool and then are you headed back home after that yep straight home to glasgow and then we just drive straight to dumfries in the borders <laughs> to play a festival oh well that's fun non-stop well, lucky you <laughs> fun. yeah lucky us yeah uh, well it was a pleasure to meet you it was a pleasure to have you um and hear you play in such close proximity <laughs> and uh enjoy the rest of your time in the northwest great. Thank, thank you thank you it's uh kexp 90.3 Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.